you guys have met our new puppy. Uh, her name is Misa. Hey, Misa. Say hello to everyone. Hey. Say hello to everyone. You a good girl? <laughs> She's like, what is going on right now? Hey. Well, here's Misa. Our new mini Australian Shepherd puppy. Uh, she's awesome, but anyways another kind of rant video like my last one with the fake art pipes uh, This one is about spec D headlights now. I know some of my subscribers are probably running these headlights I have never been a fan of them since day one because uh, My way of thinking is OEM all the way. I think 06 to 07 projectors Look better than the spec D headlights. Uh, they definitely outperform them as far as brightness wise but, lately I've been seeing uh, people having a lot of issues with them. So the first kind of common issue with the spec -D headlights is obviously the condensation. And uh, basically the headlights, when you buy them, I guess it's even in the instructions that they recommend you re-silicone around the lens because they will condensate on the inside, get water buildup, things like that. And you know, for cheap headlights, it's kind of what you expect to go wrong with them. But now, I think just last week, I saw, oh, the moon is still out, what the hell? I saw a handful of people comment saying that their daylight, daylight, daytime running light was not working, or the turn signal was not working, or both. And within those handful of posts I've seen in the comments, other people were saying, hey, that just happened to me too, I've had that problem, etc., etc. Guys, this is what you get when you buy cheap headlights. I've been telling people from day one uh, that have thought about buying them, recommended them. I always say no. I say if you have 0607 projectors and you swap to spec D headlights, uh, you're an idiot. I'm sorry. They're dumb. Dumb. I don't know why you would downgrade. Now, if you have the 03 to 05 headlights, I would kind of understand why you would upgrade. Uh, but still, I, I always recommend retrofitting your OEM lights. You can do some custom stuff, have one-off headlights. That's what I'm doing, even though I have those other eBay headlights on, the G37 style ones. If you guys saw my video, it's the kind of other looking daytime running light. I have those on right now because uh, I took the projectors off so I can get those retrofitted. And... Um, then I'm going to put those back on and probably dump those eBay headlights. Either sell them or trash them or something, whatever. Um, they look all right, but like I said, I'm OEM all the way. I think they look better. Obviously perform better. And uh, I'll have some custom headlights uh, that are one-off and no one else will have. Whereas everyone, everyone has those spec D lights. They're, I, they're so played out. Now when they first came, when, like, when they really first came out, I guess they were cool because uh, it does kind of modernize the front end a little, but, uh, but still, it OEM all the way, guys. Uh, if you have, if you're watching this and you have the Spec D headlights, uh, sorry for shitting on you, but uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comments. Uh, also, I, I saw a guy selling his Spec D headlights for like a thousand dollars, all because his date, all because that DLR light was uh, RGB and you could change colors. But he was charging a thousand dollars. Like what the? A thousand dollars for some eBay headlights? You, and I, I even commented, I was like a thousand dollars for eBay headlights, and he's like, you're not gonna find these lights on eBay. And I'm like, bro, they're right here. All you did was put uh, an RGB light in that in that running light to change colors. Not a thousand dollars. And rent, okay, I, I'm kind of going off, but yeah, I thought I'd just put my little two cents in there. Um, I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comments. Stars.